Alright, good day Rifter. So today we're gonna be covering another game. This is gonna be the third game for the tournament style tryouts of Team ANP, Alam ng Puso. This is gonna be a, a Team 2 against Team 3. We're gonna be looking at the perspective from Team 3. And with that, let's get it on. Alright, we're gonna be looking at Yuke, Jinoski, Kreja, Sai Sai on the Camille. Jinoski is on the support Alistar. Yaki is the jungler on the Vi. Kreja is the ADR. Alright, so let's see what their gun their early game strategy is. They see Nami. Nothing aggressive, they're just gonna play a safe uh, early game. Vi is still there still there in their jungle. No invasion or not or anything. Uh, Blue Ward on the upper lane and another blue ward by Sai Sai on the red buff. Sai Sai on the bottom lane with Duenef's Olaf. Uh, knowing that Olaf in the early game is very po powerful. So I, we believe Sai Sai is going to be at a disadvantage here. He's going to be pushed a lot into the tower like that one. Good job by Sai Sai getting the CS. Genoski. And Kreja at the top lane against Lucian's uh, Kaisa and Papi Bear's Nami. Look at the, looking at the lineup, uh, I believe Lucian, the red team, is going to have the advantage here with the pokes from Nami uh, and Lucian like that one. Jinoski as a support being melee won't be able to do that much here. So hopefully they do well. On the bottom lane, Sai Sai is being pushed away by Duin F's Olaf again. And look at that, Sai Sai is just freezing the lane because he is at a disadvantage. Uh, if ever, because... Uh, you become aggressive in last hitting your wave pushes forward and you give uh, Olaf more advantage so freezing the lane is a good uh, a good strategy for Sai Sai here Yeki spots Panginoon tries to invade the blue buff charges in but Panginoon is able to cast his smite to get the blue buff so no uh, no score for Yeki and Annie is there to help that spells trouble trouble for Yeki, the jungler, gives the first blood to uh, Ani. Top lane, Jinoski and Kreja is able to push the lane. That's very good job for the top lane being uh, at the disadvantage in the poking game. Alright, middle lane, Amumu is going for the uh, Oriana. Let's see if they're able to capitalize on that. Um, Kreja, good pokes on the Lucian. Enemy Lucian, good uh, evasion from Jinoski and Kreja for that skill. Yeki just goes for the Rift Scuttler. That's um, control for the top river. Lucian tries to counter it but backs away. Yeki tries to uh, get the enemies. Jungle creeps but Lucian is there to counter it and Yeki will have to back away. They spot Ani. Yeki is going towards the Ani and they're gonna clash. Uh, both of them are stunned but Karma is facing four blue champions in his face and that is a kill for the blue team that evens out everything on the scoreboard one is to one Kreja and Gijinoski goes back to the top lane game is reset Sai Sai just comes back from the base still good last hit from Sai Sai it's gonna be very challenging for him to do the last hits here because the wave is under the dungeon at uh, the turret so Sai Sai will have to do a better job in freezing the lane outside the turret's uh, range. Alright, Olaf is there. Poke Sai Sai again. Good skill by Sai Sai. Let's see. Yes, he's able to push Olaf away. But Sai Sai is now at the, under the turret again. Top lane, they're pinging. But they are going back to the base to get their items. Let's focus on the bottom lane for now. Alright, so good freeze by Sai Sai. Good job freezing the lane. This is something that newbies should learn also, how to freeze the wave if you are at a disadvantage. This is going to be very helpful for you. Ocean Drake just... Uh, uh, just uh, spawn jungle. Alright, not much action yet, but we should see the teams try to position for the dragon anytime soon. Jinoski at the top lane, they're able to push the lane, so this gives them time to clear uh, wards and put some wards 
Scuttler on the river. Alright, so they're already trying to set up for the dragon. But middle lane, Oriana was ganked on by the Panginoon. Momumo Amumo is countered by Jinoski. Amumo eats the ultimate of Vi and dies in the process. Alistar is going after Jinoski. Jinoski is in trouble. KJ is out of position. Jinoski dies. KJ can blink away. Good jump in by Sai Sai, catching the Olaf and the Ani on the ultimate. And that's a kill for them. Israel doing the damage, but good dive by Sai Sai, catching the Ani with her ultimate. Alright, the Scuttler is targeted next by the blue team, and this should transition to the dragon. Uh, team, the red team is not should not be able to contest this. Others uh, are still out of position, just spawning in the base. Kreja tries to, no, Lucian tries to uh, counter the dragon, but Alistar is there and Lucian is now in trouble and should die. Ani gets UK with his skills but is able to back away. Um, Amumu is going after Kreja, but good save from Jinoski saving the Kreja. Um, Jinoski is still dashing even if he doesn't have any HP and pace for his life. So that's another kill for the red team and one kill for blue team also. So one even, but that is a an Alistar support for uh, uh, Kaisa ADR. So that's definitely a win for the blue team. Blue team now snowballing in when it comes to, uh, in terms of the uh, what do you call this objectives? They got the dragon with that. Alright, so Amumu is starting with the Rift Herald. Sai Sai is taking a good. Uh, is monitoring the Rift Herald uh, uh, properly. Ani is there in the Rift Herald also. Yeki is clearing the wards in the Rift Herald. Let's see. P teams are already setting up for the Rift Herald. Yeki. Max Wayne goes with the red buff for now. Sai Sai is there. Keeping watch of the Rift Herald while Olaf is there also. Sai Sai is just trying to clear the wave. Anytime soon, the team should be posing up for the uh, Rift Herald. Kreja at the top lane and Jinoski spots Lucian. It's the missile from Lucian. It's the second skill of Lucian. Kreja uses the ult to poke the wave so that they can push it. Yeki gets the blue buff. Spots Panginoon. Amumu is gonna eat the first kill. Good uh, good charge by Vi. Uh, Panginoon casts his ult and flashes away. Nami's ult didn't hit anyone. But Nami's puppy bear is charging. He's underestimating the damage by Ezreal and he dies for it. Jinoski. While that is going on, uh, Olaf was doing the Rift Herald. But Sai Sai spots him and he pays with his help. Karma is being poked by Sai Sai also, but Vi charges in, stasis by Karma to survive. Bo Vi receives the ball and a combo should happen. There it is, the ultimate of uh, Oriana and that is enough to kill the middle lane. Olaf is dead, so this is open for uh, the blue team to get the Rift Herald. Right, good job by blue team. Alright, now the Rift Herald is being attacked by Vi. Vi is now back up. Uh, his HP is back up. Jinoski and Kreja at the top. They signal to go back. Power of the tier 1 turret of... Sorry, the tier 3 turret of uh, the red team at the top is almost dead. So that should... If that dies, that's first turret destroyed gold for the blue team. That's another objective win for them. Vi is signaling that he's on her, on her way to the middle lane. I believe they're gonna be ganking uh, Ani. But Ani backs out. Alright, so Vi staying in the mid. They spot Karma and they're gonna initiate on Karma and a combo and an ult and Karma is dead. Rift Herald is summoned in the mid lane by Yeki. He charges in the middle to add pressure but doesn't see anyone so he's just gonna scout for wards instead. And goes to the blue buff and kills the blue buff. Jinoski is gonna be there to help if ever Vi gets in trouble. Spots Amumu, charges in and pushes Amumu to the Vi and Vi will take advantage of it. But Amumu ults and Sai Sai ults. This is a th 
This is this is a good fight, but Saisai is almost dead. This is spelling bad news for the blue team. Saisai has to back out. Saisai is almost dead, and Jinoski is almost dead. So there are three heroes dead for the blue team. Only Kreja and um, Heise survives. So it turned out to be bad for the blue team even though they had the advantage uh, casting the Rift Herald on the middle lane. Score is 11 to 8. Not that far away but with the, uh, with the objectives count, blue team is definitely on the lead. Kreja is starting the Dragon already. Vice there to help. Let's see if red team is able to counter this attack by the blue team Annie is there she's alone so that's bad Amumu misses his first skill to um, to get in Jinoski good charge and good first skill by Jinoski four, con four enemies were controlled and that's a kill on the Nami that's a kill on the Annie very very good initiation by the Alistar Panginoon is in trouble but go is able to go under the turret Jinoski is taking the damage from the enemy and is dead already. Yeki tries to charge in, but the enemy did back away, so he's not able to charge on anyone. They're calling for a retreat. Yeki goes for the uh, Rift Scuttler instead. The others are going back home. Yeki goes for the blue buff. Olaf is going to the Camille. Good wards on the bottom lane, on the Barons, by the blue team. Since Baron should be the next objective here, we should see the team start to. Uh, we should see the, the team start to prepare for the Baron. Sai Sai going towards the, towards the middle lane. He has Alistar and Heise to help him. He gets the ball from Heise. Let's see if he can initiate with anyone. It should be a kill if he's able to jump in. Gets uh, jumps in but misses, so they back away. Genoski. Vi signals that he is on his way, but Vi is already starting the Baron. Since the enemy team is turtling up, the the blue team is starting to pressure the Baron, and that should um, push the red team to come out from their turtle strategy, and they are successful. Red team should check the baron as of the moment olaf checks the uh, checks it for the team but mission accomplished for the blue team they were able to draw the red team out they're killing uh, they're clearing the wave uh, the wards again from the red team and that should pressure the red team again to come out and check the baron and there it is nami tries to check the baron if the blue team is taking the baron yeki Charges away since he doesn't have any teammates there in his saw 2. Alright, Olaf is being chased by Jinoski. He back away. Bottom lane is clashing already. Amumu misses his first skill. Kreja, good poke. Alright, so we can see that everyone is starting to build up on the Baron area. Amumu is trying to get in. Nami with the ult hits too, but the follow up is not there since it's very far already. Alright, blue team ops for a reset, but red team is now out of their uh, jungle and their bases because of the Baron pressure. Look at the wards of the blue team in the Baron area. Very good job by the blue team being able to control the map this way. Top lane is destroyed. But Sai Sai already starts with the Baron. Uh, red team is not able to scout this out. So hopefully they do. Jinoski backs away and try to protect the team for any invasion. Spots to hero. Charges in for the Ani. Panginoon is there. Also, Olaf is also charging in. Haize is being focused on him. He's almost dead but Stasis saves him. Panginoon good ult. First, uh, Jinoski charges the Ani away. Good first kill by the Jinoski. But the blue team already killed the Baron. Triple kill already for the Olaf. Kreja is hit by the ult and goes one on one with Lucian. Lucian almost dies, but Ezreal dies first. That's four heroes dead on the blue team and the Oriana almost dead. But they got the Baron, which is good as a consolation. But seeing that there are four dead in the blue team, they won't be able to capitalize on the Baron, Baron buff that they got. Blue turret 
uh, above is already lost. Red team is pushing the mid turret and they should be able to get that since Heise is alone defending this. There it is. Middle turret destroyed. That's the middle. The second middle turret destroyed. Jinoski is already alive with Yukwe. Red team. Uh, they're signaling for the dragon and red team already got the dragon. So that's 2-1 for the dragon count. 2 for the blue team and 1 on the red team. Jinoski and Kreja are going to the top lane again they will be pushing this lane earlier they were at, adv at uh, an advantage in this lane now blue uh, red team already destroyed two turrets in this lane so that's a very good reversal by the red team camille in the middle with vi Jinoski staying in the middle three red champions in the middle Jinoski spots the ward and destroys it good job by Jinoski Yeki scouts the area again for wards and doesn't see any ward there Right. So no action as of the moment. People are backing away. Blue team is TPing back home. Amumu will be able to see Jinoski. Jinoski's TP is cancelled. Jinoski charges and pushes Amumu away. And Jinoski should be able to continue his TP back home. Haize is with Vi in the middle. Sees Panginoon. Sai Sai initiates on the Panginoon. Haize gives the ball to Sai Sai. And they are able to catch Panginoon. Ulti by Haize but doesn't hit anyone. Haize is in trouble. Um, good job by Ani. Stunning Haize. Panginoon stuns uh, Haize but Haize is able to uh, jump away. Good ultimate by Vi killing the Nami. Um, Amomo and Nami is already dead. Ani is dead by Vi at the back lanes. Lucian versus Yuki. Lucian should be at an advantage being an ADR. Yeki casts his stasis to survive. But this, this spells trouble for him. He dies but that's just the Guardian Angel pop. Lucian versus Vi again round 2. Almost dies but Lucian still prevails in the end. And that's 4 champions dead on the blue team. Lucian is already low in HP. Saisei is going to try to initiate and hits. Uh, Lucian, but Lucian is able to third skill away. The invis is very useful. Saisei has no choice but to go back. Right, that was a big loss for uh, the blue team. And now the scoreboard is 17-17. And now Lucian is um, knocking on the front doors of the blue team. Lucian is knocking on the front doors. Saisei will try again to catch Lucian but doesn't hit. It's all the missiles of Lucian but casts his ult and Lucian is caught. Alistar this time is there to help and that's a kill on the Lucian's Kaisa. Very good persistence by Sai Sai. It paid high dividends that time. Jinoski wards the Baron and is gonna be watching and guarding the Baron if the enemy tries to get the Baron. Enemy, uh, red team gets the, red, the bottom lane Rift Scuttler. So it's going to be challenging for the blue team to get the Baron. Vi already started and Olaf is there. Nam is there but it's the ultimate of Vi and it's going to die in the process. Vi is almost dead but gets a shield from Heise. Very good Heise. That is a Mumu dead. Doing F is going to be focusing on the back lane. Heise is in trouble but is helped and by Jinoski and that's doing F dead. A very good sequence there. Heise saving uh, a, a, a champion. And Jinoski saving another champion. Very good teamwork. And this is the Baron for the blue team. Good job by the blue team winning that fight. Very good teamwork helping each other. Sai Sai is in the middle lane with uh, Yiki and Kreja. Elder Dragon is al has already spawned and they're uh, calling for it. That's a, this is a good timing for them since four enemy champions are dead. I don't think the red team is going to be able to contest this. Now three champions are going after the Elder Dragon from the blue team. Kaisa is not able to do much for that. 
Alright, Haise is in the middle. Scouts the river. Scouts the enemy raptor, but sees no one. And uh, blue team is now going to the middle lane. Vi is gonna be flanking on the enemy bottom jungle side. Let's see what happens. A clash should be happening anytime soon. Jinoski in the middle. Vi spots Amumu. Charges in but misses. Amumu is gonna go uh, away and is pursued by Vi. Jinoski hits it but is in a bad position. It's the ult of Nami Yeki. Initiates in and hits three and also on the Annie who flashes in, putting Vi in a bad position. He does kill the Annie and double kill for Vi. He's still in a bad position. His Guardian Angel is popped. Let's see if he survives. He does and goes for the Nami and that's a triple kill giving the team an ace in the base and that should be the GG for this team. Blue team has the blue buff and four champions are knocking into the Nexus. That's GG, good job, very good sequence of events, especially from the Vi in that, uh, at the last part of that game. Alright, what a game. Let's check out the stats. Alright, Kreja gets the MVP with 11 kills, 2 uh, deaths and 8 assists. Jinoski, 20 assists, amazing. Uh, Haize has also 15 assists. Yeki, the, the, the Vi did a lot in the last part of the game. I would say he did won that game in the later stru uh, stretch of the game. But in the end, Kreja was able to do a lot to get the MVP. Alright, what a fight. Um, who do you think is the MVP? Post it in the comments. We are going to be posting um, game 2 the next coming days. Very good matchup, so don't miss it out on it so please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you will be notified once the video is available that's it for today's video and as always be a legend